this is Stampy, and welcome to a Let's Play on Mario Kart 8. It's been a little while since I've been playing Mario Kart 8, and I have missed it, but the reason that I'm coming back and playing it again is because they have just released some new tracks and characters, so uh, there's two new Grand Prix that I can do, and I'm going to be playing through both of these uh, in, a, in a couple videos. So uh, the new characters are... Is, is, there, is there a new Yoshi? For some reason there's an exclamation mark around Yoshi, I don't know, maybe he's got a new cart or something. And Shy Guy as well. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, the uh, the three main new characters are Tanuki Mario, uh, Cat Peach, which is basically Peach in a cat outfit, <laughs> and Link as well from uh, Zelda, which is uh, pretty awesome. And so I think I'm going to start off by being uh, Tanuki Mario, I think, for these races, which is basically Mario dressed as a raccoon. And oh look, he's got a special car as well. He's got a, a special raccoon cart, so I'm going to go and use that one. And uh, we have two new cups we have the egg cup and then the triforce cup as well so uh, let's start off by doing the egg cup shall we and then uh, let's see how we can do with the grand prix i did pretty well uh, with some of the uh, the previous grand prix but it has been a little while uh, since i've played mario kart so hopefully uh, i'm not going to be too rusty hopefully uh, everything i learned from the uh, the first cups uh, is going to still be somewhere in my brain <laughs> and i'm going to get into it but just to warn you it might be a little bit of a shaky start, but sometimes it's more fun like that. If you win too easily, it's a little bit boring. So not being perfect uh, is probably going to make this a little bit more fun. So it uh, looks like for the uh, the start, I'm going to be all the way down here at the back of the race course. You can see all of my opponents there. If I start revving my car, as the, uh, the two comes up on the screen, I get a big speed boost. And look at that! Already up into second place, and all of these courses uh, are brand new, so I have not played any of them before, which is fun, because uh, I have no idea uh, what is going to, to be coming up. This looks like a, a pretty standard one, though. Pretty smooth open roads. Oh, lots of drifting here. I love uh, doing the uh, the drifting around these corners. That's how we get our boost up. Then I can go and try and get some of these boxes. And oh, nope. <laughs> I told you. I told you I was going to be a little bit shaky to start with. Uh, but I should hopefully uh, start gradually getting better. And it's really windy and turny and difficult, actually. Look at these turns. Look how sharp these turns are. Oh, no. I got hit by a shell. So I'm now uh, all the way down to third place. I want to avoid the piranha plant so I don't get hit by any of them. Also, the shells. And look at this. I do a little jump here. Ah, oh, that was good. That got me a little speed boost, and I can go and loop around the outside here, try and get my speed up. There we go, I got a whole bunch of uh, orange shells, uh, so I can go and throw these at people, all these red shells. Uh, there's still one person ahead of me, so I can go and try and take them out, and then I'm going to overtake them, and then be mean and throw another one behind me, and take out Yoshi yet again. <laughs> sorry Yoshi, sorry, it's part of the race. And look, I got another shell. Uh, quite a good tactic is when you're in the lead and you get a shell, is to just hold on to it. Because if someone throws a shell at me, I can actually hold uh, this shell behind me and block their shell. So that's uh, quite a good sneaky tactic. And I do okay at this bit, but when the uh, the corners start to get really tight, it's when things get a little bit difficult like this. <laughs> Normally you've got to play a track a few times before you get used to it. I guess you just got to really quickly switch. And oh no, there's an orange shell. Oh no, a blue shell. Sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. The blue shells uh, just take out whoever's in first place. So I guess it was good I was in first place, but it didn't help me too much. See if I can do this little jump again. That was good. Oh no, but I went on the grass. That slowed me down. Right. My challenge is for the final lap to do one entire perfect lap of the entire course. I probably won't make it, but ah, I'll do it my best. But I won't count if someone hits me with a shell or something, because there's not really much I can do about that. I also want to try and get as many coins as I can. Uh, in case you don't know, uh, when you have 10 coins, uh, you get a bit of a speed boost. I think it increases the uh, the top speed of your, your car, uh, so it's always a good idea uh, to get as many coins as you can. But here we go, I'm in second place now. This is going to be the beginning of my perfect lap. I might just go around really slowly and... oh. I crashed already. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. <laughs> you got to have something to aim for, though. you got to aim for something. And I guess for now, I just want to aim about getting in first place because I'm all the way down into third now. This isn't going well at all. So uh, the way the Grand Prix work uh, is you play uh, a bunch of races and uh, you get points depending on whether you were first, second, or third. So uh, you want to be as high up as you can, but I'm not doing very well now. And we're getting into the, the final few turns. Can I try and catch them up? There we go. i got a bit of a speed boost. There we go. I'm into third. Can I get into second and possibly first. I might get second here, but I don't think I'm going to get first. I want to be careful, though. There's a boomerang coming after me. I might actually get first and no! I was hit by the boomerang! That wasn't fair on the final corner. Can I get second, though? I think I can. There we go. I was able to get second. That's not the ideal scenario. I was beat by Toadette. 
<laughs> uh, but at least I got second. This is okay. As long as I get at least first or second uh, in the uh, the rest of the races, I should still hopefully be able to to win this Grand Prix. That was a uh, quite an, uh, an intense ending though, wasn't it? When I got taken out by the boomerang right at the end. Uh, but no time to to focus on that. We are moving on to uh, episode episode number two uh, to to race track number two, and uh, this is the Excite Bike Arena. This is the the next track. And Excite Bike uh, was a an old Nintendo game where you used to go over ramps and do jobs and I actually remember playing it so it's kind of a uh, weird playing it uh, here in uh, Mario Kart 8 so let's go and start revving my engine try and get a big speed boost and here we go already into first place so I think that yep this is just like the the old game there's going to be lots of big jumps in a row we're going to watch out for the mud as well try and get these coins this is a really weird track isn't it I think it's really small. I think it's tiny. I think it's just this one big loop. Right, I want to try and avoid the mud. Uh, looks like I don't really need to because I got hit by a, a shell anyway. Try and go on the inside. I'm still in first place. Despite getting hit by that shell, I'm still in first place. So I guess the challenge is uh, to try and do as many of the jumps as you can. Because if you do a trick as you go over the jump, uh, you actually get a, a little bit of a speed boost. So, oh, I forgot to do it there. But I guess I want to just try and get over as many of these ramps as I can. And look, I can hold the shell behind me. That's what I was talking about in the last race. You see, I held the, uh, the shell behind me and I was able to block their shell so that helped me out so let's try and get a big boost let's try and avoid the mud and avoid the grass as well if i put the banana there people are gonna have to go that way and they're probably gonna get hit by that banana shell so i think uh, that was a good place banana shell <laughs> banana pill sorry all right let's just try and do some of these jobs oh avoid the mud avoid the mud all right i've got another uh, green shell on me so i'm gonna hold on to that try and get some more of these coins and oh no i missed the job oh that was bad that was bad i think they're gonna start catching up on me let's see if i can drift my way through the mud that was quite good oh and the next one as well there we go i managed to save myself a bit there and i can go and carry on doing some of these jumps i only need uh, two more uh, of these coins and uh, then i'm gonna have uh, enough coins to get my speed boost uh, so i go over this big jump here and look there's a coin over here on the right can i grab it there we go i was able to, to grab that coin so i now uh, have a bit of a speed boost but it looks by the looks of things <laughs> like people are getting close and we are now onto the final lap of this very small race course i was able to avoid the mud there and the grass as well but there are shells all over the place people are not happy about me being in the lead. Look at these shells, they're going everywhere. <laughs> Luckily though, none of them were able to hit me and things are looking good as we're going into the final lap, but that wasn't good. I went straight in the mud and I can see people coming after me and I'm not a boomerang again and more shells coming after me. Everyone's just throwing everything they got at me and just to try and take me out. And I've still got my shells. If someone does take over me, I can throw this at them and I have a chance of taking them out, but I'm on it. I'm on the final stretch. All I need to do is not get hit by anything and this game should be in the bag. Come on over this big ramp. I know this isn't the final one. We've got one more turn, but oh no. I know I got hit. I got hit by that, but that should be okay because I think everyone would have been hit by that as well. And I can go and do these jumps to try and get my speed back up. I'm a little bit worried that people are going to overtake me. I'm almost back to 10 coins already though. And here we go. This is the final turn. And oh no, they're right behind me. Right, I need to get a very good drift here to try and get a big speed boost. I got another coin here. This is going to give me 10 coins. Oh, I just about avoided that banana peel. Oh no, there's a bomb. There's a bomb. There's a bomb. But there we go. It didn't get me and I was able to win. <laughs> Look at me there, top of the scoreboard. I'm way ahead now. Things uh, are looking good uh, as we go into the uh, the third race here. So next race, let's go straight into the, the next one. I can't remember how many tracks. Was it? I think there's four tracks in the Grand Prix, if I remember. I think it's three or four, but we're not sure. Uh, but I guess we'll find out just about now anyway. And this is Dragon Driftway. This place looks cool. Looks like there's lots of upside down driving and driving up walls, which is good fun. Uh, so I'm going to be looking forward to that. And listen to the music. <laughs> I guess we're, we're in China now by the looks of things. And I'm um, starting off in the lead uh, just because I am ahead in the Grand Prix. Let's go and start charging up my engine. And let's go, go, go. It's actually sometimes uh, a good tactic to not stay in first place the entire race. Because you're in first place, everyone tries to go for you. Everyone tries to hit you with shells and you get blue shells coming after you and all sorts. Sometimes it's good to kind of hang around a little bit behind first place uh, until the very end. But I think that's probably a little bit too much of an advanced tactic and uh, might not be worth <laughs> me trying to go for that. So I'm just gonna drive as far as I can. And look at this map though. This is really cool. We're like driving up a big dragon. And oh, I think if we go into these, we might get a speed boost. Oh yeah, look, I get a speed boost by going into them, but I hit a wall immediately. That's not good. That's not good. Well, let's throw this shell behind me and uh, see if I'm able to, to hit someone. Do you reckon I hit someone? 
I have no idea. <laughs> I think uh, Mario goes like woohoo or something when you hit someone. So that's how you can normally tell. And look, you can see everyone above me. You can see them all riding upside down. Or am I upside down? I'm not really sure. And here we go. We're on to the, the second uh, lap already. I think this is a, a relatively short course as well. The problem is, because I've got no one near me, I can't get any speed boosts off them. The way this game works is when, you're, uh, when your tyres are side on like this, when you're driving up walls and upside down, if you bang into someone, it actually gives you both a speed boost. So it's actually kind of good to bang into people, but because there's no one near me, uh, I guess I can't do that. I know I thought a shell was going for me there, but I'm doing okay. I haven't fallen off the track. I normally struggle uh, with the, the courses where they don't have barriers, and this one doesn't have a barrier, uh, but I've not fallen off yet. And it looks like uh, we're about uh, to go... Uh, into the uh, the third lap very soon. Uh, I still can't see anyone behind me. I'm going to hold on to this shell for now, uh, just in case someone does fire another shell at me. I can go and block it. And look above me, you can see them all over there again. That's really cool. And here we go, into the, the third lap. And I don't know, I meant to throw that behind me, but it doesn't matter. Uh, at least this way, uh, when I pick up the power-ups, I got a chance of getting a, a speed boost or something. But this seems uh, to be a pretty, a pretty steady race, a pretty steady standard race. And it could all change. It could all change in a split second. One blue shell, one big attack from someone and uh, I could go all the way down to last place but uh, let's just for now uh, hope that doesn't happen and I saw a bit of a shortcut back there uh, that I didn't spot before it uh, looks like I'm gonna get inked uh, but I think this is everyone getting inked though so it doesn't matter too much and I got a glimpse then of some people trying to overtake me I saw some people behind me I don't know it's kind of hard to drive with the big ink splatter on your screen I was able to do it though look you can see there are people quite close one muck up and I could go and get knocked down so I do want to make sure I keep driving very carefully Let's try and get a big drift here uh, to try and get a big speed, bo uh, speed boost if we can. And uh, oh no, they're really, really close now. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm across the finish line in first place. Easy peasy. <laughs> and it uh, looks like it's uh, baby Rosalina and uh, Toadette uh, who are right on my tail. Uh, so I do believe uh, that we do have one more race. Yes, yeah, so I think this is the, the fourth and uh, final race uh, that we're doing uh, in this Grand Prix. So uh, I think I basically just need to get probably about in the top five and I should be able to win. Uh, so if this race just doesn't go completely awful, I should be okay. And whoa! It's a really futuristic looking city. Mute City, this track is called. Oh, this looks cool. F Zero. <laughs> oh, I think this is a um I think this is from Star Fox, I believe. This looks very Star Foxy, if you ask me. Alright, let's go and try and uh, get the uh, the old engine revving. And let's go, go, go. So once again, I start off in the lead. But it looks like I've been overtaken already. And this looks so cool. This looks so smart. And look, I drifted the whole way around there. And was able to get a huge speed boost. And there's speed boost everywhere. I think this is going to be a very fast track by the looks of things. And look at the background. Look how amazing that looks. Right. So these things I need to go and try and get into uh, to get a bit of a, a speed boost. I'm going to throw that shell behind me, see if I can hit someone. I'm not sure if I did there. And let's go and try and go over as many of these speed boosts as we can. This is so much fun. It's just so fast. And oh, that shell was very close to me there. But let's go and try and drift around these, spinning all over the place. And there we go. I got a big boost from that. And look, once again, you can see all the other people driving above me. But I crashed straight into a wall there. That wasn't very good. And they are now very close on my tail yet again. You can see uh, there's someone else right behind behind me. I can go and use this coin to try and get my coins up a little bit. And here we go. That was lap one down. Nothing nothing too eventful in the first lap. I was able uh, to keep first place for a good amount of time, uh, but there are people very close on my tail. I am not miles ahead, and so I just need to make sure no mistakes, no mistakes, and I should be okay uh, to hopefully take the entire Grand Prix, which is what I want to happen. I set out here to try and win these Grand Prix, and that is what I am going to try and do. But oh no, there's a banana peel. Nope, I couldn't avoid it. I couldn't avoid it. I drifted straight into it, and that is going to give a chance uh, for everyone else to catch up. Uh, but it's okay. I still got the lead, and there's lots of speed boosts here I can use to try and get my speed up. I can see people right behind me here. I might hang on to the shell for a little bit and then that way I can block any shells that they might fire at me. I try and go over these speed boosts. Here we go. I think I'm doing better this lap than I did the first time, but oh no, that's me off. That's me down. That's me down. Oh, and a blue shell. And I got hit by a blue shell. Right, I'm all the way down to third place. This is not good. This is not what I wanted to happen. Okay, looks like I've got a little bit more work to do now. And down to fourth. Can I hit them? There we go. <laughs> I was able to, to take out that person. And here we go. We're in the, the final lap and we have two places to try and make up. So I got to try and drive my very best. Let's try and get over these boosts. That was good. That was good. Going over these boosts as well. Uh, you can kind of drift through the boosts, uh, which is quite effective. 
And here we go back over the jump and I'm almost back in first place. I am just behind them. And look, I got a speed boost as well. Oh, I nearly speed boost straight into that banana pill though. I got to avoid all the banana pills and there we go. I was able to get back into first place, but it's a very fragile first place. There are people right behind me and it's always dangerous when they're right behind you because they might have fireballs and boomerangs and all sorts of things uh, to try and take you out. You need to drift early here to make sure you don't bang into the wall. This is good. And this is where I fell off last time. No problems here. And here we go. We're on the final stretch, but they're right behind me. All I've got to do is make my way down here and then across the finish line. Can I do it? Can I do it? I think I can do it. I think I should be able to win the Grand Prix and I did it. I finished. First place yet again. I got 42 points. So I believe uh, that is the entire Grand Prix. Yes, it is. I can go and uh, view the, the results then and uh, see just how well I did. Okay, here we go. The big ceremony. First, we can see a few highlights from the race. That was the time when I drifted around the corner and then boosted. Ah, good times. <laughs> and that was the time I got hit by a blue shell. That wasn't quite a good time. I think this is, uh, is, this from the, this is from the race we just did there, isn't it, I think? And uh, I think that was just before I fell off. And uh, here we go. So I was second and then first, first and then first again. Not too shabby. It looks like I have won the egg cup. Let's wait to get my gold trophy. And here it is. Another gold trophy. Congratulations. So I got 57 points. And then baby Rosalina was just behind me. And oh, looks like I've unlocked a new character. I wonder what character I've unlocked. I might go and uh, quickly check that out now. So let's go and see uh, who the, the new character is then, shall we? I have unlocked... Ah, Toadette! <laughs> That's the person who beat me in the first race, I think. <laughs> ah, dear. So yeah, I can now play as Toadette. Uh, but anyway, that is the end of this episode here. But don't worry, I am going to go and do the, the other Grand Prix as well, the, uh, the Hyrule one. And I'm going to be doing that one while playing as Link. And so there'll be a link to that in the description if you want to go and check it out. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!